Le voilà, Eddie Baron, chapelier à Hollywood, un des derniers qui fabrique encore des chapeaux à la main. Il est vrai qu'il faut parfois faire du sur-mesure pour les grosses têtes d'Hollywood. Depuis plus de 30 ans, la boutique Davy Barron fabrique à Hollywood des chapeaux de toutes les tailles, de toutes les couleurs et de tous les styles. C'est en Colombie, son pays d'origine, que Eddie a appris son métier directement de son père. Et récemment, Marc Mejia, qui passait par là, a décidé lui aussi de porter le chapeau. I came out here to buy a few blocks and uh, unfortunately he, uh, he said not only do I have some blocks, I have my whole shop for sale. If you're interested, maybe we'll work, work a deal. Mark, he made the business more up because he had hard to in the hands. For a stretch, I had to stretch with hand. Put the steam over there and a stretch. For a stretch very hard. I stretched for more than two years and my hand is a little crooked, you know. <laughs> Out of the handful of hatters that are left, um, we're one of the few that still actually hand block everything over wooden forms and uh, it's it's there used to be a lot of hatters in the united states and throughout the world but it's becoming a dying art form uh, because no one is doing that by hand anymore it's all done by machinery tous les chapeaux faits à la main quel que soit leur style ou leur couleur sont fabriqués à partir d'un morceau de feutre qui est ensuite moulé en utilisant des formes en bois de différentes tailles and the Chico Mar is the same. I had to make the crown fruits and, and had to stretch the brim for making the brim exactly the way the people he want and block the same and this. This is a John Wayne style rounded in the back. I mean, it's rough naturally, but this is basically the, the style or a body we could use for John Wayne. This is cowboy, this is ranch. The ranch is different is, is a square in here and pinch in the front. When I make the, the crown in here, I have to push, put a steam and push down for make the, the mold for the ranch. When I made the house for young Wayne, I went to his house for mayor the head and I made all kind of house for him. A little softer felt and this could be something that could be for Indiana Jones. We make it here for Indiana Jones. We make all kind of house for Indiana Jones in the movie. Uh, the factory, they make it to Indiana Jones, but not exactly. Not exactly uh, we make it here, the original. All movies we make in here, we keep one for the original hat. Well, if somebody want to make exactly one, we can do it. Two beers, all right? One for me, one for me, mate. <laughs> this is uh, the basic body that we use for, the, for Jim Carrey and the mask. And uh, it's basically this exact body with uh, a black ribbon band and then that long feather he had. Uh, and I think it had binding, if I'm not mistaken, if I can remember correctly, binding around the outside edge, and um, the mask. Somebody stop me! Un acteur au visage allongé porte normalement un chapeau à bord étroit, mais pour accentuer l'effet comique chez Jim Carrey, Eddie et Mark feront l'inverse en lui donnant un chapeau à large bord. La couleur, elle aussi, ajoute bien sûr au personnage. This is the basic fedora, except for Dick Tracy, the movie. Uh, we used uh, also a light colored or yellow body for this particular movie. And um, a lot of times the color of a hat will dictate what or, whether or not the character is going to be a bad character or a good character. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. A black hat, uh, as a rule of thumb, is, is going to dictate a bad guy. And the bad guy usually will wear the crown more in front of his face, uh, almost like a frown, if you will. Oh, it, it says a lot about the character of, of the man that wears the hat. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the final touch of uh, a gentleman's uh, wardrobe. I mean, actually a suit, and the, the final piece of that suit uh, that makes it the icing on the cake is the hat. That makes the man. Le chapeau fait peut-être l'homme, mais cet homme-là a fait beaucoup de chapeaux. 
Il a travaillé sur les plus grands films et il suffit de penser à n'importe quel couvre-chef célèbre pour s'apercevoir qu'il vient de sa boutique. On tire donc notre chapeau à Eddie Barron, qui s'est déjà proclamé empereur du Galurin.